For years, we've heard about the superbug. Bacteria that grow resistant to our antibiotics, so we just can't fight them. Well, guess what? This isn't something that's happening in the distant future. It's happening right now. Help us prevent the post-antibiotic apocalypse. So how did we get in this antibiotic resistant mess in the first place? Here's a quick history lesson. Antibiotics are naturally made from bacteria and mold in soil and water. This complex milieu leads to the development of antibiotics and also antibiotic resistance mechanisms. And this has evolved over hundreds of millions of years. In modern times, scientists saw the effects that certain molds had on bacteria. In 1928, Sir Alexander Fleming learned more about their properties and isolated the first antibiotic. It was called penicillin. This was huge. Penicillin was the first of our modern antibiotics, and we use it to fight illnesses that were otherwise deadly. It was a miracle. But through the years, antibiotics started losing their punch. Eventually, antibiotics were failing. Fleming knew this, and in 1945, he had big words to say about the misuse of antibiotics. I quote, the public will demand the drug, and then will begin an era of abuses, and in such a case, the thoughtless person playing with penicillin treatment is morally responsible for the death of the man who finally succumbs to infection with penicillin-resistant organisms. Now, why do organisms grow resistant? Well, remember, antibiotics are produced in the soil to protect their specific environment. But nearby bacteria and mold were smart, and they developed mechanisms to prevent themselves from being killed. It's basic survival skills. And this was the start of antibiotic resistance. Fast forward to the 1960s, when we started building new antibiotics as a fix to this resistance problem. These antibiotics were scientifically engineered, and some thought we were in the clear. For a time, we were. But after decades, these antibiotics also started to fail. Even engineered antibiotics can't stop bacteria from mutating. So now, less than 100 years after the discovery of penicillin, it's evidence that all antibiotics fail. Every last one. And currently, we have strains of bacteria that we can't treat with antibiotics. So what's the plan? How do we fix this problem? There are several ways to help, and the biggest impact we can have hails back to Sir Alexander Fleming's comments, but we now call it antibiotic stewardship. Antibiotic stewardship is the optimization of the public consumption of antibiotics. It's simple. 30 to 50% of antibiotic use is thought to be inappropriate. We know that every time antibiotics are used, we give bacteria a chance to develop resistance. So doctors need to be good stewards and judicious with our antibiotic use. This means don't give an antibiotic when it's not needed. And patients need to be good stewards too. Patients need to talk with their doctors and know if an antibiotic is really helpful or not. And if it's not, don't demand that medicine. Every person's commitment to be wise with these medicines buys the US and other countries time to do research and implement more systems and strategies and bring this information to the world. We'll talk more about these strategies in an upcoming video. So for now, in the name of health, please be good stewards with your antibiotics.